I got this uh, Vanguard model. This is a, it's actually, a, it looks like it's made by Coleman too, but this is the Vanguard model. And then uh, this is a Progen 5000. Okay, a Coleman power mate there. And so this thing's not running. Um, it's got a few things wrong with it. It's given to me. I'm gonna try to get it going. So the first thing I'm gonna go for uh, is the gas. I'm gonna drain the gas, change the filter. One thing I noticed here is that this, uh, this cable has, it's totally dry rotted. So it was actually leaking some stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace this first, drain all the gas. Probably need to replace this one more than likely, but I'm gonna pull this off so I have a go by. I'm gonna take it to the store and go get, look at that thing, and go get a, go get a replacement hose and filter for it. So I'm gonna pop this off, pop that off, cut this and drain it into a, into a bucket so I'm not getting fuel everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna go for first. <clears throat> Here's the old nasty bucket I'm gonna drain that stuff into. Hey, the other thing I did is if you follow this fuel line all the way up here, right up to there, it's got right there, right here, it's got a shut off. I think that's a shut off. So I just screwed that all the way in. So I'm hoping that I can get the, the hose lined up to drain in there and then, then turn it on and do it. That way I'm not getting fuel everywhere. I suspect that's the case because it quit leaking out of here once I shut that off. I'll try to get a better view of it. There, turn the light on, you can see it better. I just took and crank this down to the right. See, it'll crank left too. I think that's my my uh, valve for letting fuel out down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclip this, pull this off. some new clips there too some more hose clamps these things are toast yeah that one just corroded off of there anyway you get the idea i'm going to use two hands and pull this thing off of there okay just undid this little hose clamp there and that's going to my carburetor i'm gonna pull this off i'm gonna pry that off with a the screwdriver right there you can always cut it off too if you're replacing this whole thing i could just cut it off but i might have to try and pry it off first okay they came off real easy so you got this here a bunch of crap in there that thing's really old so i'm gonna bring this with me too as well as this so we can get the wall thickness of the pipe but anyway so i got this here i'm gonna go ahead and drain the drain the fuel so i'm gonna follow this up here to see if that worked Open that up, that way I can drain the fuel out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just draining that nasty fuel out of there. Crack the top too. Okay, while that fuel's draining out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the spark plug off because I'm heading to the store. So I already know I'm gonna get a new hose and new filter. So I might as well grab the spark plug and bring that with me too and get a new spark plug for this thing. It just pulls right off. Get our spark plug there, get our spark plug wrench. Okay, I got a 5 8 inch deep socket on there. T. It's like a Briggs and Stratton uh, symbol. Right, I'm just going to dump a little fuel down in here because it's empty now, but just to kind of clean it out a little bit. And I still have it unplugged, but I got all some new. I got the new parts for it too. So I got the uh, some new fuel hose, and some clamps, new spark plug, and a new fuel filter for it. I'm uh, just running a little bit of fuel through this thing to, to clean up the gas tank. Okay, I washed that out with some clean fuel just to get any residual gunk out of there. So the first thing I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put this filter on there. Changing these out is super easy and it's a cheap, it's a cheap fix too if you're troubleshooting these things. So, I mean, you just put that, slide that hose just right on there and put the pipe clamp on good to go. Now I'm just going to cut another length go from here to here. 
Here's what I'm using. Okay, all I'm going to do now is just cut a length. Here's the existing one. I'm just going to cut the new one to the same length as the old one. Okay, here's the new piece of hose ready to go on. Okay, got the new hose on and a uh, new filter. Now I'm gonna put the new spark plug in. I'm gonna put this NGK. This is a BK R5 Echo. <clears throat> okay, before I put fuel on this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this uh, the air the air cleaner box. I'm gonna leave it open while I'm trying to start it after I put fuel in, so I can. Put some starting fluid in there. Okay, there's the air filter. Remove that's where I'm gonna squirt some starting fluid. Here's the air filter. Looks like I could use a, a new one, so I'll be changing that too in the future. That's an easy fix. Just swap that out. But, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and add My some plan fuel. plan is to go ahead and put fuel in there. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean the float. The float is right here on the carburetor. But one thing I can't forget to do is turn the fuel back on. There's the, there's the fuel valve right there. Okay, that's on actually, because we were draining the fuel. So all the way out is on, all the way in is off. Okay, just for reference too, with this off, I can't tell which way is choke and run, but uh, there we go. So I'm gonna leave that right there for a second. Okay, and looking at it and how this thing is acting, this is actually the choke here. I think this is the throttle. Okay, here's the other thing not to forget. There's your power on off, so let me go ahead and Click that to the on position. Give it a go. All right. <clears throat> Took me a minute. I had to get some fuel going because I noticed the fuel wasn't getting in the in the uh, fuel filter. Okay, I did a real stupid mistake here, you guys. If you look right here, it says flow. Gas is flowing there into the car. Right. I had this thing on backwards. Let's try it now. Put it on right. Let's see if we're getting any fuel in there. Need some more. I'll turn that on. Give that a shot now. Starter fluid. Okay, that didn't help a lot. Try it again. Okay, it doesn't want to stay running, so I got this on right, and I'm going to take this off, and then I'll go ahead and take the take the float off. Okay, I got a uh, 15, 30 seconds, and I just took it up against here and loosened that up. Let's see how this baby looks. Oh, man. Oh, look at all that probably part of the problem i gotta tell you what as you're working on these things don't be intimidated you know if you break it when they're when it comes off well then it's old it needs to be replaced and so just go for it so you know take the take your time but look at that so all that needs to be cleaned out cleaned off real good either cleaned or replaced if you have to so here i'm going to go ahead and a bunch of sludge on that there's a bunch of sludge in there too i'm just going to take a rag and, and wipe that real good that flow's looking pretty good as far as action goes and so i'll spray some stuff on there and, and wipe it down and get it get it clean okay up. i got some of the small engine carb and choke cleaner i'm gonna squirt it down here a little bit i can already tell this got some gunk in there all right let's see if that worked i'm gonna go ahead and put that back on and then uh, hook it back up and see if it worked. If not, I'll take it back apart.
next step is going to be uh, to put some fresh oil in it. And uh, I don't know if the oil's ever been changed on this. I'm going to go ahead and put the air filter back on because I got it going. I'm very happy about that. And then uh, I'll do another video on changing the oil on this thing. All right. Thank you all for watching. Well, I was all proud of myself for getting this thing fixed. And then I uh, gave it one more crank just to just to show off a little bit. And it busted. So next video is going to be on replacing this. And then another one on changing the oil. All right. Never a shortage of projects. <laughs>